time, weather, and... Hello and welcome to Driving with Todd. And I'm Todd. We're going to do a request. Now the request comes in from my reaction to the birds doing the song Old Blue. The requester goes by the YouTube name of Michael Cullen. Michael writes this, Hi Todd, really enjoy your reactions. Of all the reaction videos I watch, yours are the only ones where the intros are as essential as the reactions, with all the anecdotes and personal connections to the songs. Well, thank you. That's exactly what I try to do. I appreciate that comment. That was awesome. If I might be so bold as to recommend a song, you said in an earlier reaction that you like Irish traditional music. And I do. Are you aware of the Horse Lips? They were a trad rock fusion group in the early 70s, hugely, hugely influential in Ireland. A good introduction would be the song Derek Doom. The best version visually is this. And then I get a link to the video, which I really like because then I'm, I know I'm getting the right video. Where you can see them in all their glam finery. When I read that, it's like, well, are they a glam band or are they a Celtic rock band? This will be interesting to see this video. Thanks for all the work you put into your reactions. Hope your views and subscribers continue to rise. I do too. Thanks for the comment. Great comment. I really appreciate what you said. Also, I'm interested in hearing horse lips. Now, the name horse lips, it, it, it rings true to me for some reason. It's like I should know this band. Uh, especially since they're from the 70s, and I bought a lot of records in the 70s. So I went to Discogs, which is a uh, internet database for groups and their recordings, their records, their singles, their compilation albums. And I looked up Horse Lips, and I looked at all their album covers, and none of them looked familiar to me, even though the name Horse Lips really sounds familiar. But none of their album covers like struck me and said, boy, I saw that album cover somewhere. So then I went to Wikipedia, as I normally do, and look up Horse Lips. And Horse Lips is correctly an Irish Celtic rock band. They're known as the founding fathers of Celtic rock. So they must have been one of the first bands that made took the Celtic sound and then added, added it to rock and roll. They first called themselves the Four Horsemen of or the four poxmen of the horse ellipse, taken from the four horsemen of the apocalypse, and spelled horse lips like apocalypse. Well, then they changed to simply horse lips and, and made it simple to be H-O-R-S-L-I-P. They formed in 1970, and the group, what I found was that they became uh, professional in 1972 with recording their first album. Now, what I thought was cool is they actually formed their own record label. They did their own uh, artwork and their own sleeve notes to their albums. And the label that they created, get this, is called Oats. I thought that was excellent. Oats, horse lifts, well, I mean, that's cool. Now, Oats was released as an independent label in Ireland, but outside of Ireland, it had to have uh, help in, in licensing and distribution, and they used ATCO Records, RCA, and DGM Records to release outside of Ireland. Now, the song Derek Doom comes from their second album, and I think I'm pronouncing this correctly, correctly called The Tain. And The Tain is a story, and, or a concept album, I believe it's their first concept album, that is a, a 10th century story. And I'm not going to try to read the Celtic uh, words for it, but it translates into the Cattle Raid of Cooley. And it tells a story of a war between the Ulster and the Connick, which I'm guessing are two families. Now, Derek Doom was released as a single from this album as well. And get this, it went to number one in Germany. So here we go with Horse Lips doing the song Derek Doom.
Okay, this was not at all what I was expecting. I was expecting more of a traditional sound with a, a little bit of a rock flavor to it. But this is this is kind of pop. This is kind of a hard pop rock music and, and maybe towards even the glam sound um, as, as referred to in, in the comment. But I really like it. I mean, that hi-hat in the beginning was excellent. I mean, to start out the song with that hi-hat, hi and then they go, you know, one, two, three, and they start the song with the guitar after that. And the guitar is just a, a good driving rhythm to, to the song. And then the bass guitar comes in, and that bass guitar is just right up front, just really pounding. <laughs> and then the lead vocals come in. Now, the lead vocals have sort of that Celtic Irish feel to them. So now I'm getting a little bit of that that Celtic flavor to the song with the vocals, but the guitars, the bass, the drum, like, I mean, that that's definitely rock and roll. That's definitely rock and roll. Good combination, a little different than what I thought I'd be hearing, but let's keep on going. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. They go into instrumental break. And uh, they're playing a, a nice lead solo on, on the guitar. But then the keyboard player is playing, um, I forget what those are called, but it looks like some sort of pipes uh, that they're playing. I, I know it's, it, it's, it's, there's a different name for it, but that sounded really cool. Now we're bringing some traditional Celtic instruments into the sound of this rock and roll song. And, and that's really cool. Um, I wish I could remember the name, what those pipes are, but... That sounded really, really cool. And that's what I was hoping to see is some traditional instruments used in the song. They didn't disappoint me. Let's keep on going. And when the stars go out, you can hear me shout. Two heads are better than nine. A hundred heads are so much better than one. Excellent. I really like that. Was that lead singer playing an electric mandolin? <laughs> That's what that looked like. It, it had what, eight, eight strings on it, a uh, very small uh, body. I, I, that was pretty cool, too. Yeah, I, I really like what they're doing. I mean, they're really taking rock and roll 
at this time, which was, this was 1973, to kind of a new level. I don't remember hearing something like this here in the United States um, that sounded like that. I mean, that was really cool, especially with, with the use of those pipes. And at the end, um, they did a little instrumental break as they went on the song with those pipes. I, I just think this was really kind of cool. I really like this. Um, may have to take a look at some more of, of this particular group. Maybe some the, there's some other uh, listeners or, or, or viewers that have some recommendations of songs to react to by Horse Lips. But I really did like this. And, and I like the fact that they kind of started out as kind of a traditional pop song, traditional rock song with, you know, with those hi-hats, the bass, the guitar. But then as they got into the song, the vocals were a little bit of, you know, Irish Celtic sound to it. And then you had the pipes. And then, like I said, the, the lead singer, I think that was an electric mandolin. How cool. Very cool. I love this. This was very, very good. I'm glad uh, that that um, this was recommended. Uh, it's it's different. Very different. And I can see where they were starting a different type of sound. And, and I'm not comparing them to Kate Bush at all, but Kate Bush did a lot of this type of uh, style of music as well, where she took a lot of traditional Celtic type instruments and, and folded them into her rock sound. So if this was the start, I think they influenced a lot of future artists um, in rock and roll. Loved it. I hope you loved it. If you did love it, hit that like button. That'd be really, really cool. If you have any comments about Horse Lips, the song Derek Doom, or another recommendation of the, another song by Horse Lips, Put it in the comments below. That would really be appreciated. I'd really like that. I'm also going to take a link to this video, which I thought was really cool. Yeah, I mean, it was great. I love watching a video where the group is performing the song, song because then you can see, you know, see how they're dressed, see the instruments they're playing. It just adds to the song. So I'm going to take a link to this video and put it in my uh, description below or my notes below. So if you want to watch it again, just go down there, pick it, it'll open up, and you'll be able to watch the video without me interrupting it. I'm also going to take a link to the channel that uploaded this video and put that in my notes below as well. You might want to check out that channel. They may have some other really cool videos out there. Have you subscribed to Driving with Todd? If you haven't, let's do it right now. If you have this Horse Lips video still open, which I hope you do, just go below the video, hit subscribe. That's all you got to do. It would make me very happy as well. If you go over here, ring the bell, you get updates to my latest videos. This is great. I really did enjoy this. It wasn't at all what I was expecting. When I heard, when I started hearing the song, I'm going, okay, this isn't what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that they're all going to be using traditional instruments, have a little bit of rock flavor to it, and be more down home. But this was cool, taking this rock and roll approach and then adding traditional instruments and vocals to that. Loved it. Put a big smile on my face. I hope to put a big smile on your face. And peace out, baby.